Hey everybody, back with another video. Just wanted to thank you and start out this video by saying thanks. I'm over a thousand subscribers. Keep liking and sharing and subscribing to my channel. Appreciate it and all the support. It's been awesome. So thank you very much. And in today's video, what I wanted to talk about is how the hiker pulled. Uh, going up there, we had it fully loaded. We had to get rear galley stocked and we had no issues with pulling this thing. I got 16 miles per gallon in my Chevy truck, which I absolutely love. So I absolutely love it. Any questions on that, let me know. Drop it down in the comments. So on my last one, I had 10 modifications I did to my hiker or around my campsite. So on this one, I've got another 10. And some of these are just camping tips. Some of these are just specific to the trailer. So I thought I'd go around and show you few more things that we did on that same trip. Friday morning. Wake up, it was dry. We had to bat down the hatchets. It's, the rain's picking up. It's supposed to rain for part of the day. We'll see what happens. So up here at the top, Max fan, we had that crack last night. Temperatures got down to about 45 to 50 so it got kind of chilly and cleared up um, no issues we just cracked that didn't even run it and then we cracked a side window no condensation at all so I think part of our no, no condensation at all thing is we also added the hypervent so we have no condensation issues nothing under the bed dry as a bone loved it that's awesome back we didn't do anything special we've added the curtains the curtain rod holders held up by some command hooks works really really well so on the inside you can't see it real well but we basically took the, the sheets and we tucked them in and we had them sewn tighter to the mattress because we cut the mattress down and created a fitted sheet another little hack that keeps everything in place from moving around so one of the things we love about this trailer is the Darchi awning. One thing we forgot on this trip was our three accessory poles. There's supposed to be a pole right here, and there's supposed to be a pole on the other side, right about there, and then on the far end. Um, because of that, we've had some significant rains this morning, and trying to create the rain gutter system, where you take this rope here, in between your two poles, which one would be right here, you create basically a rain gutter so the water runs off. The fabric is amazing how the water beads on it. As you can see up there, beads pretty good. So this is supposed to hold tension to allow the rain to come off. A little bit of a jiggle, you can see it all runs down to this point, which is the idea. But we don't know if it's because our accessory pole set up again missing or what but we're creating a sag right here in the middle this whole area kind of pools water so if anybody's got some suggestions on how to eliminate the sag on this one our accessory poles are on the way we're going to attach those undo all the ropes and then we're going to give it another try um, tightening everything up first then creating the rain gutters but in the meantime if anybody has any other suggestions on how to tighten up that center let us know in the comments but this whole area here stayed nice and taut haven't had any issues in the back and created a rain gutter with this line here So for our kitchen area, we have 11 pound propane stove, got that hooked up right to the Coleman stove and it's just a standard, standard 2 burner 10,000 BTU and then below is our Dometic 50 uh, fridge freezer combination. Fridge freezer combination, we decided to run one cord from the pole 
into camp so we can plug in accessories there with a three-way and then we plug the Dometic comes with an AC plug so we plug that right in here leave that here all the time nope we're not in bear country don't have to worry about it and uh, if it was a situation where we have some you know super rains coming or we're worried about critters we would throw a bat in the back of the truck and hook it back up to DC you normally have it in the back of the truck when we travel and then we're only setting it here due to the area that we're camping in so one of the things I used last night was my rebel gear trail hound lights probably can't hardly see them in the video here USB plug great because in my back galley Open up the door. I got a USB plug right there so I can plug them right in. And as long as you shut the door real gently, um, they'll come through the seal here without an issue and not break the cord. Um, if I have issues with that, or I'm really nervous about it. I do have a solar battery pack that I can set up here. Thing I can use for my Rebel gear lights. Another gadget I picked up, this is by RAV Power. It's a solar panel. Anytime it's got a green light on, means it's trying to suck up solar power just to top off the battery. Not really recommended for a full top off. Uh, it's got a carabiner connection, so I can hang it off a suction cup or I can hang it off the awning, whichever. And uh, this thing's mammoth. It's 25,000 milliamp. It's got two USBs. It's got a flashlight. My camera will focus. And it's got uh, a blue light indicator here with a power button. Um, it also can be recharged by micro USB and by US, uh, USB type C. So you can connect both cords at the same time to recharge this thing. This thing will run your lights for weeks. Um, the lights don't pull that much. So I can just set it up here. If I forget it, I'll leave it up there. It rains, it's completely waterproof. Everything I try to buy, I buy for water dust outdoorsy type environment so great product same thing I'll put the link link down in the description if you're interested so when you're talking camping gadgets one of the things I like to have is some music while we're camping so I picked up this little ultimate ears wonder boom it's one of the small ones um, this thing is completely waterproof it floats you can actually have it running and throw it in a pond um, this thing works great. Long battery life, Bluetooth to your phone. You got some good sounds. Just have it connected to one of those suction cup mounts. You can set it on a table, around the campfire, whatever you'd like to do. Then I get asked, how do I film my videos? Well, I use this little charger here and an iPhone. That's all I use. Don't use any special microphones. Do dub in some sound from time to time, but when you're on your trip and documenting, this thing's nice. I can go landscape or portrait. It snugs up to any smartphone. It's got this little button here. I can push that and it'll swivel the head around without a problem. Uh, and photo is the brand. I'll put a link in the description like everything else. This is one handy tool. So the biggest thing is you can fold it up like this and hold it like a handle and gives you a good sturdy platform for photography or videography. So on one side of my hiker, I have a rug that allows water to go through. It dries fast. It folds up really compact. Super easy to carry around. On the other side, I just have this welcome mat. And at first, uh, it's kind of cute. We liked it, but uh, it's, it gets heavy when it gets wet and uh, doesn't dry real well. So looking for some other ideas. So leave them in the comments. If you got any ideas for a small little rug for the other side, leave it down in the comments. Throw me some ideas. Appreciate it. Caleb, you having fun? Can you hear me? Go away. Go away. So you can't hear me. You guys having fun? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So the one morning with some light rain and really cold temperatures overnight, 
we noticed that we had some pretty decent condensation on the underside of the Darchi. Must have been the temperatures are just right, trapped some heat under there, and uh, condensated. Get all the little holes sealed up. We expect to have a 15 year old awning. <laughs> It works. It does. There are only a couple drips. We need to do a little seam sealing when we get home. So we got our first scratch, or I guess you could call it a dent. I placed one of these suction cup units right in front of one of the doors. The wind caught the door, swung it open, ended up hitting one of the hooks. So lesson learned, do not place one of these in front of the doors, just in case the wind catches your door. So we had a gully washer of a storm come in one night. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is, how loud is it when your head is that close to the roof comparative to a full-size trailer or a tent? And we had a pop-up camper before, so I would say that the sound is about equal to hearing rain on the tent material of a pop-up. I really didn't find it much different. Um, it, it sounded about the same. And as far as a normal trailer, I don't have experience in that category, but... I mean, the sound of rain pitter-pattering away just puts me to sleep, so I had no issue sleeping through the storm. The only reason I woke up is to try to film a little bit of the lightning, and then I also got out and tried to squeegee a little bit of water off our awning because it was coming down pretty hard and really didn't want to take any chances with the uh, awning. So here's just a short audio clip. You can hear what some of the rain sounds like. Pardon the snoring. Found ourselves a nice griddle top to use with our stove. Works really, really well. Um, works great for making larger meals. So here's just the kitchen in action. What you making? Making some French toast. Just got done making the bacon. Yum, yum. So after this trip and the few leaks we had with our 12x12 tailgater awning, we decided to upgrade to a gazelle gazebo. A little better rain protection with that. So there'll be a review coming on that shortly in the future. So the first two days were in the 40s overnight and we had 50, 60s for the highs. And the last day was in the 70s. It was absolutely gorgeous. Sun came out. A few of us got a little sunburn and we just enjoyed the warmth. Um, this time of year in Michigan, the weather can be very volatile. It can be up or down. So, hope you guys liked this video. Anything you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave uh, any kind of questions down in the comments. I'll see what I can do. We'll see you guys on the next one. Talk to you later.